five more races to go in the regular season. Count them all on one hand. We're here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway for the first time since season number four. Last season was a great race here at this facility. Beautiful super speedway racing all around this track. The Candyman of Kyle Busch took home that victory last season. It was quite the victory for him, but not a whole lot of victories for these drivers right here. Joey Logano being the farthest away from victory as of right now. 46 races ago was the last time he won a race. Brad Kozlowski's right on his tail, only 10 races behind him and others on that graphic as well, chasing their return to victory. Now be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to be able to keep up with the AAPCS. But uh, this is race six out of 15 here in this season, the fifth installment of this series. Now let's go ahead and take a look at your drivers to watch for. This track is going to be a wild card event halfway through the regular season. Let's take a look at the ones you should be watching for. I talked about them earlier. Kyle Busch, he won this race last season, sat on pole in the Daytona 500, uh, almost won his duel uh, as well back at Daytona. Now this time here at Atlanta, starting second place to the outside of Chase Briscoe. Can he possibly get his second win of the season. Now a bit farther down the line, we find Brad Keselowski. 36 races ago, he won his fifth career race in the AAPCS. He was leading the, or still is leading the most wins of all time, but ever since then, he has not been able to do much, but you never want to count out the six car at these super speedway races. And a lot, lot farther down the line, Tyler Reddick sits outside of the top 20. He says not to count him out just yet. He still has a bit of fire underneath that hood, and he could possibly be looking for a solid top 15 finish today after winning uh, just two weeks ago at Las Vegas. And as the cars roll off, let's get to your starting lineup here at Atlanta. Chase Briscoe sits on pole with Kyle Busch to the outside in row number one. And then row number two, we have two Fords, Ryan Blaney and Michael McDowell. And then row number three, we have sliced bread Joey Logano to the inside of Eric Jones in that 43 car. And in row number four, we have your defending series champion, Ross Chastain, to the inside of last week's winner, Chris Busher. And then to the inside of Austin Sindrick is a Brad Keselowski in the six car in row number five. And in row number six, Christopher Bell and the fan favorite Daytona 500 winner earlier this season, Chase Elliott, to his outside. As the rest of the field goes by on your screen here, we're going to be seeing quite a lot of action here today. Tight packed racing here in this facility. Going to look like some really tight pace laps here at this track. Going to be 13 of them as a matter of fact with 36 cars, 36 chariots ready to go sprinting around this course. Now this of course this track is of course smaller than Daytona and Talladega, only a mile and a half long as Talladega and Daytona both 2 miles and above. Let's take a look at your race facts here presented by Spoiler Diecast. Chase Briscoe sits on pole, 13 laps, 36 cars in the field and the last time we raced here Kyle Busch took home the victory. And head on over down to Spoiler Diecast and use code AAPCS at checkout to get 5% off and free shipping on old orders that are $20 or more. Now cars rounding off a turn number four, pace car in, and the green flag waves were racing in Hampton, Georgia. Already jumping to the high side, Chase Briscoe trying to block the eight car of Kyle Busch. Blaney on the bottom with the help from his teammate Joey Logano. Here comes Kyle Busch through the middle. He's going to try and take over the lead. Briscoe almost up into the wall. Now Penske pushing the eight car down the backstretch. They go. Chastain trying to make a move. Blaney with help from him. Pushed to the lead. Here he comes. Ryan Blaney and Ross Chastain lead on lap number three. Chastain now back to the bottom, side by side, two lanes, two horses racing each other. Kozlowski getting the push from Joey Logano, back to Ryan Blaney. He's going to lead another lap here as Chastain's on the bottom with Bell and Larson trying to get them going. And no, we got a caution already. Big crash in one and two, hard into the outside wall goes Elliott Suarez and Austin Sindrick down to the bottom with Ty Gibbs as well. 
major crash here. Two cars on pit row. Let's take a look and see what happened here. Oh, it looked like Suarez gave a bad bump to the 54. That got him loose going into turn number one, and he overcorrected, went back up into the track. Oh, Ellie got a bit of air after getting pinched between Suarez and the wall. But yeah, Daniel Suarez, the one that start that incident, gave him too much of a push going in the one, and that just caused melee as Priest and Jones had nowhere to go as well. They're on pit road getting some repairs, but uh, six, uh, five cars in this wreck here. Ty Gibbs on the record getting pulled down to the garage. So is Daniel Suarez. Chase Elliott, your Daytona 500 winner. Ty Gibbs was your points leader coming into this race. Not going to be that anymore after he's getting uh, towed back to the garage as Jones and Priest now come off of pit road with some damage. You see the choose rule here. Blaney with the help of his teammate, Joey Logano on the inside. Former teammate of Brad Keselowski on the outside with Briscoe behind him. Green flags back in the air. About as even as a restart as you can get. Penske with the edge on the bottom. But here comes RFK. The RFK number six with the SHR number 14 behind him. Briscoe pushing Keselowski to the race lead. Clearing Ryan Blaney. Blaney's now trying to get some run on the inside. Not going to happen. Good push from Briscoe. Briscoe to the bottom. He's going to ditch the six. The 34 is now all over the rear bumper of the six car. As Chastain's trying to split the middle. He ditched Logano as Briscoe getting help from Ryan Blaney. Here comes Christopher Bell. And Chastain down to the bottom. He's going to try and take over the lead. He takes it over around the outside. Here comes Chase. Oh, and a caution. Upside down. He goes. Austin Dillon tumbling through the trial. Well, Chris Buescher gets involved late as well in the huge crash happening down the front stretch of Atlanta Motor Speedway. Major, major crash going down the front stretch. Taking a look at the replay here. It looks like Austin Dillon got loose off of the bumper of Joey Logano. Went back up the track as he overcorrected, slammed the outside wall. Busher nowhere to go. Looks like he might have just spun by himself, but what a slam dunk hit into the outside wall for Austin Dillon. Upside down, he tumbled at least twice going through the trioval. Slid on his roof across the start finish line. Almost got up into the catch fence. Thank goodness he did not. But the red flag is out after that incident as cleanup ensues on this racetrack. If we take a look at the replay just a couple more times here. Yeah, he got loose off of the nose of Joey Logano. Went back up the track and slammed into the outside wall. The hard, sharpest impact that you could have at this track is in the trioval where the walls start to turn in to make the uh, trioval look the way that it does. And yeah, he slammed that wall really, really hard. But uh, he seems to be okay. Three cars involved in this incident. Joey Logano, the only one to get out unscathed as he was the one that triggered it. But uh, the yellow flag is back after we see the choose rule here. Chastain's going to choose the high side with Chase Briscoe going to be ditching Christopher Bell for the restart as the green flag's back in the air. We are racing once again at Atlanta with only four laps to go. Outside lane with a beautiful jump. Chase Briscoe pushing the number one car with the help of Ryan Blaney as they round the outside. Three more laps to go in Hampton. Top four all single file. Who makes the move first with only two more laps to go? Coming to the line. Here comes Ryan Blaney and Brad Keselowski down to the inside. They take the lead over with only two more laps to go. Keselowski and Blaney with the race lead. Christopher Bell in third. Chastain Briscoe all stuck on the high side. Can't get a run going. Off turn four, white flag in the air. Here comes Kozlowski with Christopher Bell down to the inside. Ryan Blaney left out to dry. Chastain through the middle. And here comes Christopher Bell down to the inside with the help of Kyle Larson around the outside. Kozlowski with Blaney. And it's too close to call at the line. Photo finish at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Have not seen that before, have we? Here's the replay to see who got it done. Looks like Chastain tried to go through the middle, but he had no help there. Bell tried to go to the bottom with Larson. They were stuck together all race long, and Brad Keselowski was the one to take home the victory with the help of Ryan Blaney around the outside. Ditched him at the end of the race. They're coming to the white flag, but still stuck with him to the checkered flag. Ryan Blaney unofficially coming home with a solid third place finish here. But Brad Keselowski, the one to burn it down on the front stretch, snapping a winless streak of 36 races here in Atlanta Motor Speedway. Here are your results. 
uh, after today's race. Brad Keselowski barely edging out Christopher Bell for second uh, for first place. Christopher Bell finishing second place with Blaney a solid third here after a bad stretch of races this season. Kyle Larson finishing fourth with uh, Kyle Busch coming home with a fifth place finish. Solid top five for him. And then uh, six DNFs here from today. Chris Buescher, uh, Cindric Elliott, Suarez, and Gibbs all involved. And, of course, Austin Dillon with that nasty, nasty crash going down the front stretch uh, on this race during the halfway point. He is okay, and he is out of the infield care center. So he will be able to uh, continue for the rest of the season. Now, here are your point standings after this race. William Byron takes over the points lead once again. Christopher Bell up into second place. And then... Uh, the previous points leader, Ty Gibbs, falls down to 7th place. Uh, Chase Elliott as well, who is up in the standings, uh, down to 8th. And Brad Keselowski jumping from outside of the playoff picture all the way up into 10th. So that's a good day for him, good points day for him. As But Daniel Suarez, who was also in a uh, quite a, a big, big points battle uh, himself, has fallen even deeper into the standings his playoff hopes looking to dwindle every single race has not made the playoffs ever since he made the final four back in season number three so maybe he'll be able to find something here in these last four regular season races but we'll have to wait and see well it was a great race here today in atlanta motor speedway uh definitely going to be a great venue to be looking out for next season uh, uh once again for the third year in a row but for as for right now the next race we're going to be going out west to sonoma raceway in wine country we're going to be seeing all the lefts and right turns that that place has to offer well be sure to like comment and subscribe to know when that race goes up and we'll see you all in wine country have a good one